Okay, so I recently, actually recently is probably a funny word to use, uh, about a month ago, I saw Wrath of Man with uh, Jason Statham that's directed by Guy Ritchie. And uh, it was okay. Like, I wasn't blown away by it, um, particularly in many parts. There's a few bits I thought were pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's only about four things I like about it for the most part. But yeah, these four things, you know, it's not a terrible movie by any means, but it could have been a lot better. Like, for me personally, I really like Snatch and The Gentleman. I think those movies are excellent by Guy Ritchie. Absolutely excellent films. Like, they're just, they're really well done. Really well filmed, really well edited. The acting's fantastic. The, the, the comedy's amazing. This movie takes itself a bit more seriously, which is fine, but since it does take itself seriously, does it have emotional impact? Does it have a particularly good story, I think? Yeah, it's okay. I think it's kind of just like a revenge plot. It's just kind of structured in a slightly different way. Kind of like how Guy Ritchie films are. They're not really in order. They kind of present things in a different way, which is fine. Um, for me personally, I didn't particularly like it. Like, in that sense, it was fine how they showed that. I didn't hate it, but I didn't think, oh, that's really cool how they did that. It was just like, yeah, Guy Ritchie does this in a lot of his movies, but it wasn't something that particularly blew me away in regards to that type of stuff that happened in the movie. But anyway, let's get into the things I did like. Um, in regards to some of the filmmaking, I thought it was well shot. I think the camera composition was pretty good in parts. Um, I like the opening shot when this van's getting robbed, this armoured van with money in it and stuff. It was pretty cool. Like, it's kind of done in a one take. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, aside from that, I think there were some pretty good camera movements here and there. There's a good actual tracking shot with Jason Statham just shooting a bunch of dudes in this house and he's just walking out going bam, bam, bam. I was like, damn. Uh, and just overall, there's some just good tracking shots and just good camera movements here and there. This is kind of typical of a Guy, Rich Guy Ritchie film. It's just, it has a bit of energy to it in certain scenes that, yeah, it's good. It's, it's engaging um, in certain parts, that's for sure. Um, this is something I give credit to to Jason Statham and also due to the how it's shot and the camera movements but the next thing I'd say I liked about it was badass moments there's just some really cool moments in it just parts that Jason Statham's just shooting up dude especially the first time you really see him shooting guys like these people try to rob the van and he just completely obliterates them and it's like wow what a scene like it was really it was just cool like just seeing him just do his thing, I was like, wow, this is really cool, I wish there was kind of more of that, of him being a badass, but anyway, the parts when he is doing it is really cool, and really, it's fun to watch in those parts, that's for sure, um, and the last thing I, I'd say I liked about it was this very haunting music, like, it gives you this feeling of something's gonna happen, right, and it fits the title Wrath of Man, like, it feels like wrath, like, the music's like, just, doom. it kind of reminds me, there's a soundtrack in The Gentleman, when Matthew McConaughey loses his shit, there's a very haunting soundtrack in parts, it sounds very similar to that, um, I think, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got from this movie, on first viewing, um, so yeah, well shot, some pretty badass moments, and some pretty cool music, or intimidating cool music, whatever you want to say. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's kind of what I got from this movie, first viewing. I feel like I might watch this again, and who knows, maybe I might like it more. I don't know if I'd do a reaction video to it. Uh, probably not. I'd probably just maybe give another review at some point in the future, and say maybe if there's more things I like. If there isn't more I get from it, well, obviously I won't do another video on it, but... If there is a lot more or, you know, somewhat more things I really want to say about it, I'll consider doing another review. But that being said, though, I definitely think I will sometime... I definitely feel at some point I will do a reaction video to probably Snatch. That's for sure. Definitely Snatch. I'll do a reaction video to. And probably The Gentleman as well. If I don't do a reaction video to Gentleman, I'll, ge I'll definitely do at least just a review for it. I'll definitely just do a review for it, like how I'm doing it like this. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm going to try and be pretty consistent with these videos because they're very simple. It's all one take. I just color grade it, you know, once I'm done. And then I can pretty much just post it and just put the tags and 
description and all that, you know, it's very simple. So I'm going to try and get into doing these videos more because there's a lot of movies I want to talk about. And by doing the reaction videos, they take a lot longer. You know, it takes a lot longer time to go through it and edit it and everything. As much as I do enjoy them, they are fun. They just take a bit more time. So I'll definitely still do these. Just like one take, short, rea um, short review videos, talking. Just kind of me freely talking with a small list or big list, whatever. Just a list of the things I like. And then just add some extra things, you know, that just come to my mind. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, tell me things you liked about the movie. Maybe there's a bunch of things you liked about it. Please, I'd love to hear more things that you like about the movie or maybe even things you disliked or, you know, what's your favorite Guy Ritchie film? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, yeah, catch you later.